So hello guys, today now I am with uh, Silvika and she is studying in a master in uh, infection biology. So I will ask some questions regarding the how is the biology in a master course here in Germany. So please give your introduction first. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Shilpika and I'm doing my masters at infection and biology at the University of Lübeck. Um, I have done my bachelor's in zoology in India and after that I was really interested to apply to Germany for some biological program to continue into research. So I decided to apply and I got accepted here so I'm studying here right now. That's good. And uh, how long have you been here in Germany? So this is a two years master's program. I have finished two years already, but then because of Corona, I think it's got a little extended. Yeah. But I'm in my fourth semester right now, so I only have my master thesis left. Okay, and uh, which major subjects you have in your course? Um, so our course is divided into certain parts. We have a section where we need to complete courses, like mandatory courses. So that would be infection biology. We have part one and two. Then we have immunology, which is also like a mandatory course. And it's very important that we pass these courses if you want to do internships. Along with these, we also have something called diagnostic methods of infection and clinical aspects of infection. So these are mandatory courses. Apart from that, we also have certain electives. So every semester, you can take one or two electives. Totally throughout the course, you need to complete two electives. And most of the electives are in chemistry, biochemistry and physics something related to that. You have like microscopy, crystallography or um, single molecular methods or something like that. And everything combined together, once you pass all your exams, you have enough credits to do your internships. And after you finish your internships and present them, you again need enough credits to start your master thesis. Okay, it's quite long. <laughs> <coughs> if you apply from a bachelor degree, which bachelor degrees can apply in this master course? Okay, so um, it's different for every course generally, depending on the website, they have something called like prerequisites for admission. You should always check that. But generally, if it's something like infection biology, something related to life sciences or humans, biomedical science, or maybe microbiology, these courses are generally like preferred because you might have already studied certain things before and then you are studying more of that in your master's. I think in some courses they also take students who have done biochemistry or everything but it's difficult because if you don't have previous knowledge about immunology or infection or anything then it's a little difficult to catch up to the course. So it's always important you check the prerequisites of every course. And uh, in some cases uh, some people are saying that if you are do doing your bachelor and it is uh, your BSc like uh, three years mm. so can you apply after that uh, three years directly for master? Yeah, you can apply directly also, but uh, in some courses you need your full degree, which takes a little bit of time to get, but some courses take your uh, provisional certificate also. Of course you can apply. In Germany it's not a problem. For a master's in science course, you can complete your bachelor's and maybe even while you are completing in your final year, you can still apply in some places. But I, I did not apply directly. I took one year off to study German and then I applied. So I already had my degree when I was applying. So it is your course is in English uh, or uh, you need ILTA certificate for that? Yeah, so this is an international master's course. So it is completely English taught and yes, you need IELTS or TOEFL, either of them. I, I give IELTS. So with IELTS, um, a band of 6.5 uh, or above is considered very good. So it is important that we prove that we can speak good English. Yeah. Mm. You have many knowledge about biology. So other than your university is, uh, you know, in which university have this courses? Yeah, I think infection biology is only available in Lübeck, but something related to biology, I think we have University of Vienna, University of Cologne, Oldenburg, you have something in Hamburg, you have Tübingen, University of Ulm, Nuremberg, and um, I think München, Munich also has very good courses for biology. So they are all maybe like microbiology, biomedical science, marine biology, they're all kind of related but yes, these are all English taught courses as well. Okay, so if you want to apply in a biology, you need IELTS if your CGPA is high like a 8 plus. Yeah, that's helpful. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I think for grading systems, the European grading system is very different. So our Indian CGPA has to be converted. 
Yeah. So it's always better if you have a CGPA higher than 7 or 7.5. The higher your CGPA, the better your chances are to get into the course. Yeah, it's true. <clears throat> Biology field, uh, do you know any companies for applying for internship or job? Which are the major companies here in Germany? So uh, I think the most important or the most famous research company is Fraunhofer. So Fraunhofer has a lot of branches in different parts of Germany and they all conduct research in different areas, physics, chemistry and biology and vaccination and a lot of things. So Fraunhofer is very good and um, we also have other places like Draeger and a lot of research institutes like Max Planck or pharmaceutical companies like Bayer, Sanofi, Roche. So with this um, degree, if you are not interested to do a PhD, there are so many opportunities that you can have. You can work as a scientific assistant or in a pharmaceutical company or in one of these research companies where they are doing a lot of work. So that gives you, I think, good experience. If you're interested to do your PhD, then that's great. There are a lot of opportunities for that too. So like she said, biology have more scope. So pack your wax and come here. And so... Do you want to give any tips to them, those are coming to Germany? Just one tip. If you're ever coming to a European country where the language is not English, it's always very useful that you learn at least basic German before you come here. So you don't feel isolated, you don't feel, I mean, bored or confused when you come here. It's very useful if you can speak a little bit of German before you come, so things are easily, easily more manageable for you. Yeah, that's all. How is your course is demanding after the, you're completing your master? Um, yeah, I think in any place, master is always more difficult when you compare it to like a bachelor's degree. Yes, it is demanding. But I mean, it's not like in India. The thing is, you don't have attendance, but it's very good if you attend all the lectures every day. So some days I finish my classes by 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Some days I have only one lecture at 10 o'clock. Some days I have to be there till 3, 4 o'clock. So it's mixed, but I have a lot. I get a lot of free time. So I mean, if there are students who do a part-time job, then yes, it's it's possible because you have a lot of free time. You can do maybe a little bit every day, two three hours every day or something, and you can still manage. Yeah, without bunking class. You can <laughs> things. Yeah. Yeah. Did you find the teaching method is quite different from India? What is the things here you find? Yeah, it's, it's very different and I think it's very nice because here we are encouraged to think on our own and find solutions on our own and we are encouraged to, you know, m like make new things and find out new things. Even though if the answer is wrong, we are always encouraged that no, you should, you should think and come up with something. So I think my thinking ability and everything has improved, which is very useful for research. And even practical knowledge has like improved so much because they um, give a lot of emphasis on lab experience and practicals, experiments and everything, which is why we have to do two internships. And in both the internships, we need to acquire two different set of skills. Oh. They can't even be repeated. So then we cover all the areas necessary in biology, which is very useful when you do your master thesis or your PhD because you have already worked on so many things. Yeah, so. like you already have practical knowledge before you doing exactly. your research in that field. Yeah, so I think that's very important that we are always encouraged to learn so much more and no no teacher gets annoyed that, oh, you can't ask me this again. So it's, it's nice. It's very nice. The professors yeah. are very patient and the faculty is very good. They are all experts in their field. So whatever you ask them, they always have an answer for you. I like that very much. Yeah. How many international students? you have in your class so this is a class of 20 students and we have like seven or eight students from different countries i think ukraine america britain russia and other places yeah. and uh, it is quite hard to get internship or a thesis in your field or a... no, no no it's very easy it's not that hard you should but you should apply in advance and then you can meet the professors and talk what you need and then you can apply it's generally not that difficult like us yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. it's very easy, but but the only thing is we don't get a stipend. So. Yeah, but if you apply in a big companies, maybe you get. Yeah, it's it's possible. Yeah. So thank you so much, Silvika, for giving your time and giving information regarding biological field. Of course, you're welcome. 
And I think if you're watching this video, then it's by Guju in Germany. And I think he's doing a really great job in making videos with students and a lot of people and making this so informative for those who are interested to apply and come to Germany. So it'd be really nice if you could just make a small effort and subscribe and send them to your friends. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye.